Welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name's Die Chronicles here on this Destiny 2 video and today we're going to be taking a look at the weekly reset for June 2nd, 2020. If you wanted to complete anything for Season 10, this is the very last week to do it. So all of the triumphs, all of your Grand Masters, your Flawless Triumphs, uh, anything that says Season 10 you have to complete before the end of this week. So for example, a lot of the Season 10 stuff will be found in Seasonal, so just go over to Seasonal, go to Season 10 and complete literally everything that you can on the list. I personally don't really care about Trials of Osiris, but I will get my Grandmaster Conqueror title. Now there's also something else that's quite special today, and you may have seen this by all the people, and of course the radar, uh, is that everybody wants to look at the sun. And the reason is, is because if you strain your eyes just enough, you can actually see the Almighty. Now I'm not sure if this is going to come through on the recording, so I'm going to see if I can get this to look better for you. Yeah, it's really hard to see, but if you strain your eyes and look, you can actually see it right there. The Almighty is upon us. It's going to murder us very soon. May I just say, I love how so many people flocked, just flocked to this section of the tower. I don't know if there was somebody who told them to do this, or... Uh, there was some message that I missed, but they all came here to look at the sun. Anyways, the weekly reset. Today, uh, like I said, is going to be the last week of the season. There's nothing really special going on except for the new cutscene that we saw that you get to see in the beginning of this video. And of course, the fact that the Almighty is upon us and you can actually see it from the tower, which you could last week as well. So clearly, this is leading into next season. Next season, we're actually going to have to be dealing with the... Uh, the Almighty, perhaps the aftermath of the Almighty. On top of that, we also saw the Triangle ships near Jupiter, so we'll also have to be dealing with this finally. Next season, lore-wise, definitely looks like it's going to be something quite intense. And also, if they uh, nerf my boots, I'm going to be real mad. You know, this is the only reason why I'm doing well in Crucible right now, so don't nerf my boots! What's a man gotta do to feed his pigeons without being bothered by people saying random stuff? Moving on with the regular weekly reset, starting up with the Nightfalls, the Ordeal. This week will be Inside Terminus. It's gonna be the big scion at the end, dropping the long goodbye sniper rifle. And again, for anybody wanting to do Grand Masters, you technically can do all of the Grand Masters right from here, including the one that's actually the current week's one. You can do all six of them to complete your Conqueror title. However, Grand Masters are very, very difficult. So keep that in mind. For the regular Nightfalls, Tree of Probability, gonna be the Cabal Centurion dropping through the Minotaur at the end, dropping the DFA Hand Cannon. Will of the Thousands, Zol, the big Worm God at the end of the Warmind campaign, dropping the only transmit effect from Nightfall Uniques, the Worm God Incarnations. And finally, Broodhold, the Witch that splits into her Dark Self and her regular self that does not have a Nightfall Unique. The Heroic Burn this week will be Arc Singe, and so will a lot of other things as well. I just realized I'm feeding the pigeons in the emote, and now I have to listen to pigeons? Jesus, are you- Stop making me upset! <laughs> okay. As for the weekly rotating Crucible playlist, first of all, we have Team Scorched. Everybody has a Scorched Cannon. Very, very nice. Very fun to play. And the other one will be Showdown. And of course, Trials of Osiris this weekend, the last opportunity to get your Flawless Triumph. Reckoning will be the darkness of Horex. <coughs> Uh, 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 uh. As for Reckoning, this week it will be the likeness of Oryx, which means if you need to get yourself a spare ration, still one of the best, if not the best, weapons for the Crucible these days. And the burn will also be Arc Singe. Arc Singe plus Heavyweight, actually. Wardcliffe Coils. Ooh, this ought to be fun. As for the Flashpoint, this week it will be on the EDZ. So completing public events, lost sectors, and heroic adventures to complete this as fast as possible, just as another helpful tip. Technically, there are a lot of mods from the Seraph Towers, not only from being able to buy from the Warmind itself. So if you still have some stuff that you're missing, this is the last week to get those mods. And on top of that, make sure you spend all of your Warmind bits on all of the different chips that you can, so you can get all of the different engrams you can possibly can, so you can get all of the different kind of rolls and the mods and all the stuff. So you spend all your resources before the end of the season. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I don't know why I just did that. <laughs> it, it sounded momentous. As for Menagerie this week, it will be Aranuk, the big ogre. For the normal mode, obviously we're going to have Arc Singe for the entire week. Like always, Arc Singe seems to line up with all the other Arc Singe. And for the heroic mode, we have Extinguish, Grenadier, Famine, and Solar Singe. So if you ever needed a heroic Menagerie for whatever reason, this is the best week to do it because you actually have a positive modifier. Literally every time you have Arnuk, you have Grenadier. So it's a good week to do it. As for the Nightmare Hunts, we have the Fanatic, we have Crota, and we have Fogoth. Obviously the easiest one is going to be Fogoth. Fogoth has a very special... 
a lot of special places you can sit and not be shot by the boss. You know, this is probably going to be one of the only times that I am on level for a nightmare hunt. I should probably go do some nightmare hunt. Oh, that's what I should do in the stream. Go for some time trials. God damn, I really need to do some time trials. Nightmare hunt insanity. Nightmare hunt despair. And nightmare hunt fear. I, uh... I don't know if you know this. I do this regardless if there's a mic that I'm talking into. <laughs> okay, all right. To the top! I've forgotten what that is. To the top! As for the Garden of Salvation challenge, this week it will be to the top. This is gonna be in the third encounter of the raid. That's gonna be the encounter you actually killed the Harpy. And in this encounter, you have to dunk 10 motes anytime you dunk motes at a relay. So instead of doing the regular 5, 10, 10, 5, you have to go 10, 10, 10. As for Escalation Protocol, this week is all three. I'm forgetting a little bit. I think last week was the Sniper. Next week will be all three. And then following that, we'll have the Shotgun. Moving on to Ever versus Inventory. Ooh, what is this about? This is a fun little shit. Moving on to Ever versus Inventory, showing off everything. Is that an house stringer? Moving on to Ever versus Inventory, showing off everything that she does have available. We have a bunch of interesting things like the Cabal Entrance Transmet Effect, which looks very Tron-like. We have the ornament for uh, the Recluse that gives it a little bit more spikiness and a little bit more spideriness, I think. Uh, we have the ornament for Carry the Load, which basically you open up a bag and you have people uh, get in it, which is actually pretty funny. And of course, a Dust Rock Blues ornament that actually looks really nice, has these spikes coming off of it. Something I would recommend. Ooh, and something I just noticed, the almost mighty shell I, with like tape on it. I love that, that's hilarious. What are these, like rulers or something? Oh yeah, look at this, this is a little mark. These are actually rulers, that's adorable. <laughs> it's actually rulers tape down to the ghost that is incredible it's a banshee treasure hunter yeah not great but like that's really funny as for the other bright dust section we have things like the shoulder hug we have the uh this shell guiding light treasure hunter pretty good we have the ornament for ace of spades which makes it look very tribes of osiris -y. an urban commander uh, Sparrow, which is pretty straightforward. I don't know why it's taking a while for my textures to get better. It seems pretty crappy. Uh, we've got the Helm Projection. We've got, I clicked on it again. We've got the Obsidian Wing Ship, which actually looks pretty nice. If I had any bright dust, maybe I would actually purchase it. And of course we have, all right, let's go. And lastly, obviously we have the other ones, War Sat Arrival, Golden Age Wine, which makes your character look very whiny. I don't know how else to describe it. It's very whiny. And finally, for Hawthorne's inventory, talking about the weekly raid challenges. Starting up with the Last Wish Raid Challenge, the Summoning Ritual. This is going to be the first encounter of the Last Wish Raid in the Kali encounter. And in this encounter, you have to activate all nine plates instead of the six correct plates. And then, of course, kill the three ogres in the middle every single time you have that phase. As for Scourge of the Pass, all for one, one for all. This is going to be taking place in the first part of the boss area, but not the boss fight itself. And in this encounter, each person on the team has to dunk all three of the three different Kali colored shaped buffs at least once during the encounter. And for Crown of Sorrows, we have Total Victory. Again, this is going to be in the first section of the boss area, but not the boss fight itself. And in this encounter, you have to break the Deception Shield five times every time you do a phase on that boss. And yeah, that's going to be pretty much the end of the video. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions, any concerns. Make sure you check out my Twitch live stream. I do every single Tuesday, as well as a bunch of other days as well on some Destiny 2 and other things. Check out my Twitch. We're going to be streaming pretty much right after this reset video video is live from 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. Pacific time, so come check that out. But that's it. My name is Midnight Crank, and I will see you guys on the next one.